Assigning a stretch action. We can assign a stretch action to the bolt uh, symbol. And in the stretch action, we are going to pick this bolt length or the shaft length, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, and uh, we can go in there and I'll actually rename this parameter. And we call it shaft length. All right. And uh, we're going to stretch, be able to stretch this out. So we're in the block editor. We're going to go over to our block authoring palettes. We're going to make sure that we click on the actions tab. In the actions tab, we want to pick the stretch action. I click on the stretch action. It says select parameter. The parameter that we're going to work on is this one right here, the shaft length. Then next, what it says is specify the parameter point to associate with action. Uh, and in this case, we're going to hover over our end point over here on this one here. Uh, and this is the one we're going to start with. So I'm going to pick. And then uh, our next one is says specify the first corner of the frame. In this case, um, we are going to pick an area up here. We're going to start up here and we are going to specify a frame, a stretch frame. So I'm going to pick here. Then I'm going to come down and I'm going to pick out here. Okay. And then next it's a select objects. So we're going to pick the first crossing win point of the crossing window. So I'm going to start up here. I'm going to pick and I'm going to come down and I'm going to pick. So everything that I want to stretch is in this uh, crossing window. And you notice how the crossing window is highlighted in green. So we have here, basically when I pick this point here, I have six steps. So I'm going to pick and now at this point, I'm ready to finish it. So um, my first one was I picked the linear parameter, shaft length. The second one was I picked over here in the corner the pick, uh, the 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 point uh, for the uh, for the parameter point. Uh, my third one is I picked up here to the left, and the fourth one down here to the bottom right. We picked the overall frame, and then inside we picked. A, a crossing window and so in here then we got the crossing window and we are ready then at this point to hit enter or I can hit the space bar so I'm gonna hit enter and I have now created a stretch action now I just saved the the block now I'm gonna go in and test it I have it in my drawing I click on it I grab it I stretch it out say I want it to be six and it stretches out to six so I just tested my drawing I could also test it in the block editor